Hi guys, today I want to do the bezel around the Rivoli. Uh, I want to break it down. And there are a lot of people still struggling with that, so I want you to be sure that you master it after you've seen this video. Uh, there are some things that I want to say though, like I said in my craw video, I don't know if you've seen it. Make sure you have time to do this. Make sure you have uh, slept well. Make sure that you pick a date to do this. If you haven't mastered it and if you have been banging your head, I suggest you just stop me now until you pick a date in your calendar and say that's the day when I'm going to master it. Uh, I want you to be well rested. I want you to have as little um, distractions as, po as, po as possible. So turn off that Facebook, turn off that music and just do as I do. Uh, you will need a couple of colors of Delica beads and then you can bead along with me and I will show you how it works. Okay, now for those of you who tuned in and are ready to go, we need... Um, fire line for this and we need some Delica beads and there are uh, only uh, one size Miyuki Delica beads. So let me tell you like this. Um, I use Miyuki, okay? That means I think there are 36 to start up with. M might be 34, but I will find out if this stone is still moving in the bezel or not. If it's 34 or 36. Uh, once you master this one and you feel that the delicas are correctly in the numbers, then just write it down for yourself. I got it written down somewhere, but um, today I'm going to go and um, wing it again because I want this to be an authentic video to see if I um, master it correctly. So you got 14 millimeters and I'm going to use 36 delica beads. Is there a science behind that, if that's the correct number? Not really. Basically what I've been doing is I've been trying to see how many go on there and then if it fits, it fits. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Okay, so that means that sometimes I will would start like with 30, then 32, 34, 36, 38. Okay, that's how it works with me. And then when I find which one works, I write it down. So I do have uh, all the numbers written down for all the Swarovskis that I've done. But I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to think like, okay, what I'm going to start with, this is 40 millimeters. I think I will start with 34 uh, or 36. And uh, if it's too much, I will do 32. And if it's too little, I will do 38. What it is with the, with the Rifoli is you will always have to have an even number or else at the end of your row, uh, if you have an uneven number, you can't move into the next row okay so that's one thing that you need to know and i suggest you put some uh, fire line uh, on your needle and make sure that you waxed it so i'm going to do that right now i haven't done that yet uh, i forgot and wax it put through the wax because delicas are very sharp and they will go cut through your thread so just make sure that you got your um, delic uh, your thread waxed and then just put it on your needle and let's get started so what is also important what I also tell the people uh, like make sure that if you're going to do 36 that you got the right amount and that you just kind of like put 5 here first and so that you don't um, screw up on the first row because that's very important so I'm going to put out my number of Delica beads for my first row and after that you'll save so then it wouldn't be a problem anymore. Okay, so I need 36 to see if that's correct. That's 20. I'm going to put that in 5 and that's 25 and that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 30 and that's 1, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I got 36 beads here now, and I'm gonna put these on the needle. Closing you up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. But first I'm gonna put these 36 beads on my needle, and that's not all that hard to do. 
because I already counted those. You can also, you know, put them on and then recount them on your needle. But I found this to be much easier. So now I know how many I need and how many I got here and I'll be okay that I have the correct number of Delica beads on there. Again, if you're watching this and you're tired and it's the middle of the night and or you just woke up, you know, make sure that you you have some breakfast first, have a cup of coffee, don't be cranky. If you want to try this, if you if if you haven't succeeded so far, you don't want to be cranky when you you're doing this. You want to be excited that you're going to be mastering it today. And now we're going to go through all these beads one more time, okay? We're not going to tie a double knot. You can if you want to, but um, I want to go pass through there fairly easily, so I'm just going to pick up my beads like this and pass through all of those beads one more time instead of bumping into one knot. Uh, that is maybe there and I can't pass through or, you know, gonna get stuck behind. So through all the beads through all them beads again. And then you come out in the first one, so that your first one, so that your thread comes out in opposite directions of this Delica. I got enough thread at my end till and that will make me able to go around in the bottom when I have to. Okay, so these are my gold ones. Now we're going to do the first round or actually this is the first round. We're going to do the second round. We're going to pick up a Delica. We're going to skip this Delica and we're going to go into the Delica behind that right there. And that's basically what you do all the way around. Now I put 36 beads on my uh, first round. So that means 18 have to go in between because I'm skipping one. Okay, so that makes sense, right? I skip one and I add one. Picking up another one. Skip this one. Pick up that one. Okay. Skip this one, pick up that one. So that's four and count. Then you know that you um, did it right. You need 18, five. And that's why you need to focus and not be disturbed. Six. Seven. Skip, pick. Seven, eight, skip, pick, nine, skip, pick, ten, skip, pick, 11, skip, pick, 12, skip, pick, 13, skip, pick, 14, skip, pick, 15, skip, pick, 16, skip, pick, 17, skip, pick, and 18, and when you skip and pick, you will come out in the last gold right there. Okay, now, if you put on 18, 
and that's not correct, you did something wrong in your first row. Okay? I'm going to wait for you guys for a second until you catch up. Not too long. While I'm at it, I'm just going to wax my thread a little bit more again. Okay. Okay. So if you're not there yet, just pause me now. I'm going to go and do the next row. We're stepping up, which means basically we ended this row. So now look, what do we do? Well, we need to add delicas, and I'm going to use whites. I'm going to need to add delicas in between these spaces that are here. Okay. So what we call is stepping up. That means you go through the last one and you pick up the first one of the new row that you did. So we're picking up the first one of the last row that we did. And then we're going to add the white delicas in between. One and 18 again. Two, and you don't have to skip now because you can see where you have to go. You have to go into the, uh, what is it? What color is that? Um, midnight Iris. Two, three, I'm gonna do 18 again. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, And 18. Okay, so stepping up the last one of the row and the first one of the new row. Okay, so that's two of them. The teal and the white. Or the iris and the white, sorry. Okay, now you got that, like that little cup. And if you pull that tight, you will see that, that curves. You got like a little ring. You can actually put that on your finger if you want. But we're not going to do that. We're going to put that cup in there, okay? In order for this Rivoli to fit in that uh, in that casing we just made, the bezel, we need to first close up the bottom. Okay, so we're going to do that right now and we're going to pick up a different needle for that because I'm lazy. So it's hard enough to put these uh, threads on the needle, so I don't want to do that have to take that off and put it back on there when we use the working thread again. Okay, I'm going to, with my end till, I'm going to go into the gold. Get that out of the way. And we're going to put 15 O seat beads in between here. One. Two, also eighteen, three, four, five, six. Seven, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. and 18. And we're stepping up into the gold and the 15 OC bead. Now we're going to add another row of 15 OC beads with a different color so that you can see what's going on. All basically what you want to do is make sure that that Rivoli doesn't fall through in the bottom. I'm going to continue with one row of 15 O beads in between the 15 O beads. Okay, I'm using white so that you can see what I'm doing. One, two, Three, four, five, eighteen again, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Seventeen, and eighteen. And we're going to pick up the fifteen O and the white one. So stepping up into fifteen O's. Then we're going to go down into the blue fifteen O. I'm going to turn back into the gold, into the blue, and working the way to thread right now, into the gold, and 
and we're moving forward gold and another gold and we're turning back and uh, the thing is you need to make sure that your thread won't be moving anymore and that you can take it off so I think we're good when I go through this gold oh beaded path this gold these two gold there we go take it off cut it off and now you have a nice cup to put your Rivoli in okay now when that's said and done we're gonna pick up our working thread again and we're gonna pull that all tight I'm gonna close that cup make sure that your Rivoli is in there correctly got to hold it exactly in the middle and then pull your cup tight there we go and now your Rivoli should be tight in there just not secure yet okay so next we will be adding 15 OC beads in between the white delicas. Okay, so 18 again. One. Two. Three. Four. five and when you're at five just put it down for a second and put pull that tight just kind of to put everything in place okay five six seven eight nine and ten and again put it down and pull that tight just kind of pull that upwards so that you get a nice snug Rivoli in there, okay? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 put it down again snug it up okay one two And three, fifteen O oh, seed beat. Pull that all down, make that all snug, and there you have your Rivoli beaded bezel. And then you move into the white delica because you always follow the beaded path and then you can work your thread away but in order to get it more tight and uh, a little bit more round looking you should be uh, decorating your delica okay we're not going to do that right now because I wanted to do, show you how to do that bezel and not how to decorate um, a delica but if you decorate it, everything will be snug and it will look even better than just this uh, because right now it kind of still is kind of movie. 
but when you start decorating it then the moviness is gone. What you can also do is you can add another round of 15 O seed beads and if you add another round of 15 O seed beads then it's going to be a little more tighter also but um, if you want as much uh, Rivoli to show then this would be the way to go and just kind of decorate it so I'm gonna go back up in my white I'm gonna work that thread away for uh, some decorations but that's a whole different video and I've done lots and lots of videos on decoration already so I'm just going to decorate this and put it make it into a pendant and then uh, yeah but how you decorate is up to you and there are many many videos out there that show you how to decorate so this is it for a beaded bezel Rivoli I hope you finally got how that bezel worked I think you kind of got stuck on the step up that's where most of the people uh, get stuck so I hope you finally manage to get it under control and you can write it off of your bucket list